Hey BlenderBob here, so I got this character from Character Creator 4 into Blender and I made some modifications like I removed the eyelashes and I did a sculpt on it but then for some reason I needed to go back to the original model so I brought it back again but now I don't want to lose my sculpt but I cannot use shape keys to transfer my sculpt because they don't have the same topology anymore. So I thought, hmm, how can I fix that? Maybe BlenderBob could help me with this. And I asked and he said yes because, well, I'm BlenderBob. So here we go. Let me demonstrate first on these two simple grids. I will select both of them and go into edit mode vertex. From there you select two or three vertices depending if it's a quad or a triangle. Then I will click on add source vertices. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the target, one, two, three, four, and you don't even need to do it in the same order. And add target vertices. If I click the crawl button, it's gonna keep going bigger and bigger and bigger and it's gonna do all the geometry eventually. Let me undo this. Oh, by the way, the add-on is in the edit tab of the end panel, if you're looking for it. There's also a button that will do match all, so it's just gonna do everything at the same time. Now, what if the geometry is different? You see the first one, the source has some holes in it. So let's try. So I will go crawl, just wanna do it one by one. So it looks like it's doing the job, but if you take a good look, you will see that it didn't work well when it passed the holes. So there are some problems here. It didn't work well. I could try maybe taking a polygon from the center of the geometry. Maybe it's gonna work, and turns out it didn't. So let's try another corner, and as you can see, in this case, it worked. So you have to experiment, try different places, maybe do a little bit with one corner, try another part with another corner, until you get the final result. I tried with a mesh only made with triangles, and it still works, so that's pretty cool. It supports both triangles and quads. Since I'm not Autodesk, I will try the tool on something more complicated than just a simple grid. So you can see this model here has 17,000 polygons and this one has 14,000. So they don't match, I cannot use shape keys. But I know that the body geometry is the same. It's just that the other one has the eyes and the teeth and the eyelashes and everything. So if I put them on top of each other, you can see there's a big difference on the head because the head is the part that I sculpted and the legs too. Since both meshes are on top of each other, it's gonna be hard to select the polygons. So I'm gonna do them one by one. So I will select one first, Go into edit mode, select one, two, three, four. Again, no need to do it in the same order. And then I do the same thing with the other geometry. One, two, three, four, and add target vertices. So let's try the crawl first. I'm gonna keep growing and growing and growing, and it's working. By the way, you don't need to reselect the other geometry. The add-on will do it for you. You can see on the side of the jaw, the polygons adjusting to the other geometry. That's pretty cool. So you can do only specific parts of your model or you can do the entire thing by pressing match all. I skipped the video here because it's obviously not that fast but you can see that both models now are identical. And we can see here the eyelashes, uh, they were not in the other model, that's why there was no match and that's why I couldn't do the shape keys. And of course, like all my add-ons, it's completely free. The link is in the description. And if there's a lot of demand, maybe I could uh, submit it to the extension platform. All right, okay, bye.